On this cold December morning, dozens of married couples from all over Iran have come to the Royan Institute for Reproductive Biomedicine in Tehran seeking help. They're trying to have children, but for most of these couples, the technology and services available in the smaller cities have failed them. The Royan Institute may be their last hope. Few people understand this better than Dr. Reza Omani Samoni, the Institute's spokesperson. And also the risk of divorce, even we had divorce because of just infertility and there is no child. And so because that child is very important, they do everything to have this uh, child. Infertility for married couples in Iran remains so taboo that the popular filmmaker Daryush Mehrjoui made a hit movie about it called Layla. In the women's waiting room, to which Press TV had exclusive access, no Iranian patient would speak on camera. This young Iraqi woman has traveled with her family from Basra to seek treatment. May God bless me with a baby. Girl or boy, it doesn't matter. Whatever he grants me is a blessing. The Royan Institute has a 40% success rate, and most couples are able to conceive less than three months after beginning treatment. Those figures are comparable to fertility clinics in Western nations. In fact, the Institute, which is involved in stem cell technology and regenerative medicine, is considered among the most advanced biomedical research centers in the entire Middle East. Dr. Samani thinks he knows why. Uh, you know, in Islamic countries, these procedures are uh, forbidden. Uh, just in Iran, we can do it. Most of Iranian are Shiite, and Shiite clergies believe that when there is uh, something new, that we cannot find equal terms inside our Islamic sources. We can find out from the guidelines what should be the Islamic idea about that. But in Sunni countries, uh, it is different. When uh, they could not find some, something uh, to uh, accept uh, a procedure, they call it forbidden, haram. Royan may well have an advantage also on even some Western nations in certain areas of genetic research. That's because Iran's laws are governed by Shiite tradition, which allows for liberal interpretation on the beginning of human life. The Catholic, uh, uh, they consider uh, conception as a human. So the first cell, we call it zygote, is a human upon Catholics. So they cannot touch it. They cannot do the research on it. Because it is like uh, destroying human. In some countries like Italy and in uh, Germany, working on uh, embryo, human embryo is forbidden. They cannot touch embryo. They cannot separate the cells. They cannot do anything on embryo. So embryonic stem cell research also is forbidden there. Or cloning research is forbidden there. Royan's success in fertility treatment inside its clinics is due in large part to the advanced research it conducts in its labs on cloning. The Institute's main laboratories in Esfahan were the first in Iran to successfully clone a sheep, a breakthrough in Iranian gene technology that garnered international attention in 2006. The cloning is just a setup of our research because we are continuing the reproductive cloning for making transgenic animals in the future. Those transgenetic animals will one day provide the raw materials for life-saving therapies, including insulin-producing cells, which will remove the need for diabetics to inject themselves each day. But Dr. Samoni has his sights set on even greater medical breakthroughs. Okay. You know, uh, we are working on spinal cord injury. Uh, so far, we have been successful on rats. 100%. The rat, after injecting the stem cells inside the spinal cord, totally cured and can walk. We are uh, dreaming for the future uh, that we can cure the spinal cord injury, and we are not too far from that point. <laughs> 
The most exciting part of our work is when we extract RNA from the cells and are actually able to transform stem cells into nerves. But with technological advances coming at a rapid pace, can Iranian law and society keep up with the ethical issues surrounding cloning? But in human, it is unethical to do the reproductive cloning means uh, getting birth of a clone human. It is against the Islam, against the ethics and everything. And some ethical question. Can we get the oocyte or egg of a woman to make a clone embryo? Or we cannot? We don't have the answer. This young Iraqi woman from Baghdad isn't thinking today about the science behind the therapy that will hopefully help her become a mother. She's already named her future children. Reza or Masume. This is Mona Rabi reporting for Iran.